Today's topic is if statement in Python. We are going to use pycharm today because pycharm is a nice and cool editor. We will use idle in between when you want to try simple one line statements in Python. I clicked on pycharm icon. It opened this dialog here, create a new project. And I'm going to give it a name learn Python. So this will be my project name in C code directory. You can choose whatever directory you like. Create. So it just created a project for me. Here I'm going to add a new Python file. So I will say new Python file if. So it created if.py file. I will explain you uh, if statement by working on a sample problem. So let's say you want to write a program that asks user to enter a number and the program should print if the number is even or odd. For this purpose, we will need if statement. But before we go there, we need to first take the number from user. For that, we will use this function called input. Input will say enter a number. So what this function is doing is it will ask user to, it will print this text on the console. So whoever is running the program, he will see this text and he will have to enter a number. So, and once the number is entered, it will be stored in this num variable. So I created a num variable and I'm saying num equal to input this. Okay. Once the number is entered, it will be a string. So you need to convert it to an integer using int function. So let's say if user enter five, the five will be string and that five which is stored in num, when you call integer function, it will convert that to an integer, which is a number and it will put back again in the same variable. So number will now have five. Now let's write if statement. So the syntax of if statement is if followed by a condition. So to check whether the number is odd or even, you need to divide it by two and find out the remainder. So if you recall from our numbers episode, percentage is used to figure out the remainder. So if num divided by two and the remainder of that operation is zero, then your number has to be even. So you'll just print number is even. If that is not the case, then it will go into this else block. Remember, you have to enter add a colon. So colon means it's beginning of the block and you have to also indent it. PyCharm will indent it for you. So when you say enter, you see cursor is here. It is not here. If you have it here, then your program won't work. It will give you an error. You will say print number is odd. Okay, let's run this program. So click on run, run. So here it is asking a user who is me, I'm running the program and it is asking me to enter a number. So I enter five and when I hit enter, I see number is odd. Let me run it again. You can click this icon as well, by the way, to do the same thing. Okay, four four is even. Let's debug this and see how it actually works. So I will set a breakpoint here. So you can use control F8 or left mouse click to set a breakpoint. It will be highlighted by this red circle and you can say run debug. When you do that, the first thing is going to do is it will come here on this line and it will wait for user to enter a number. So here I will enter five. After that, it will move on to the next line. So right now you are, you stop at the next line. You didn't execute remaining lines yet. So you see here num is string five. When you go to the next line using this particular button or by using F8 keystroke, the num from, inte uh, from string, it got converted to integer and that's because of this int function. F8 again and see what happens. 
cool so it didn't go to this line if you noticed so that's why if is called control statement it controls the flow of your execution if the condition is not satisfied then it will go to else and again print f8 you can close this if you go to console you now see number is odd if you do the same thing for let's say run debug for number four then it will go to the first line so let me add four here f8 f8 so you see now it went here and it is saying number is even okay cool so in the condition here we use equal to operator there are other operators which i'm going to demonstrate using idle so i like to use idle always along with py charm because idle executes one line pretty quickly and it kind of helps in your programming so always use idle along with py charm by time you are using to write your main program, but I you are using it for experimental stuff. So we saw equal to operator. So when you say four equal to four, it prints true. If you want to say not equal to, then you use this. Or this is called not equal to operator. So four is not equal to five and it is printing true. But if you say four not equal to four, then guess what will happen? Yep, it says false. It says false because we are lying. We are saying four is not equal to two. Other kind of operators are like greater than less than so this one is called greater than operator so when you say 2 is greater than 1 it is printing yes 2 is less than 3 is printing yes so greater than less than that is greater than equal to operator so this means if this number is either greater than or equal to the other number then print true so you, this will be true for this condition as well similarly less than equal to we also have and an or operator so if you want to instead of one condition sometimes you want to check two conditions so you want to say three is greater than two and four is greater than one so this returns true the way and works is both the conditions has to be true if at least one of these guys is false then the overall result will be false so let me just show you 3 is greater than 2 which is true but when you say 4 is greater than 5 that is false so overall result is false why because one of these guys is false another operator is or so let me try the same thing with or so it's the same exit condition and see what happens you have any guess on how this works so it will check for both the condition if at least one condition is true then it will return true short of like a common sense logic another operator is not so when you want to negate a condition so not true means false so when you say 4 equal to, so 4 equal to 4 is true but when you negate you are essentially converting it from true to false and from false to true okay so that was a little demonstration on all the operators so let me close this and now let's work on another problem so you want to i will just erase it you want to write a program that asks user to enter a dish name and the program should tell you which cuisine it is whether it's indian chinese italian what kind of food it is so we need to do a couple of things here first we need to ask user to enter a dish name and that we will do using input function and the second one is we need a list of all the cuisines not all the cuisine but we'll pick few cuisines and we'll just enter we'll create a list of all the dishes in that cuisine so i will use indian cuisine so let's say make list right so for indian cuisine i'm going to make a list of some indian dishes so the first one that comes to my mind is samosa because i just love it although it is fried and not that healthy it tastes so good so samosa you have dal and you have naan naan is an indian bread and you create another list for chinese cuisine so you're creating a list here and you are storing it in a variable so chinese cuisine is egg roll pot sticker and fried rice 
Italian is pizza, pasta, and risotto. If you want to make your program perfect, then you need to enter all the possible dishes in this list and it will be too long. So we're just, for the simplicity sake, we are just trying few dishes here. So now let's ask user to enter a dish name. So we'll say enter a dish name. Okay. After user enters a dish name, this variable will have the name of the dish. So we now need to do a check against all these lists. So if you remember from our list talk, there is an in operator that you can use. So we'll say if dish in Indian. What this means is if dish that user entered belongs to this list, then print that the dish is Indian. Okay. Now, if this is not Indian, then you need to do another check against Chinese. So for that, you will use else if statement. And the keyword for that is L if L if means else if if this is Chinese, then print it is Chinese. Okay. Uh, if it's not Chinese, then you need to check if it is Italian. So you will say Italian. If it is not even Italian, then so you were doing bunch of else if checks and now you are at a stage where you want to write a default case where you you will say based on little knowledge I have I don't know which cuisine cuisine is this dish okay so let's run this program okay let's enter the name of the dish so we'll say pasta cool it is saying it is an Italian dish let's run it again and this time try samosa my favorite one Indian awesome enter the third dish and you will say burger and see it's saying I don't have complete knowledge of all the dishes in the world and I'm going to be honest and say I don't know okay so that was a little fun program with if statement cool so that I think we pretty much covered all all the things in if statement we covered if lf else and how the control flows based on the evaluation of the condition okay Thanks for watching.